The link between FOXA1 and estrogen receptor really came about from the first genomic experiments we were doing. So we went about um, trying to map uh, estrogen receptor contact points in the human genome, try and understand uh, where it sits on the DNA. We figured if we can understand where it sits on the DNA, these, these really are the switches that control the genes, and this will give us some insight into the mechanisms that estrogen receptor uses to switch on and switch off genes in cancer. And what we found was we found a, a DNA sequence that just kept on coming up again and again and again, and it was the sequence for FOXA1 protein. The reason why the FOXA1 DNA sequence was always uh, with estrogen receptor um, docking sites on the genome is because these two proteins work together as, as a partner. The FOXA1 is a very unusual role. It's very different to, to most proteins. It's um, what's called the pioneer factor. And these proteins have a very unique um, set of properties that very few proteins have. They have um, structural similarity to histone proteins or linker histone proteins. And this allows them to interact with DNA that's very tightly compacted. So in many ways, people like to view DNA as a piece of string, but it's not. It's more like a ball of, a ball of string. The DNA is compacted and compacted and compacted, and that's how you can get two meters of DNA into a, into a single cell. And when that DNA gets super compacted, most proteins just don't have the ability to sit or interact um, on, on the DNA. Uh, but FOXA1 can, and that's that's its unique role. It can interact as a pioneer factor. Um, as the name suggests, it's one of the first proteins to get onto, onto compacted DNA, and it is basically a facilitator. It allows the estrogen receptor to subsequently interact with the DNA.